So in terms of, I wake up in the middle of the night, mm. ah. okay, and I've got things on my mind. Yeah. Okay, what's the, what's the remedy to get back to sleep? Literally have a pen and paper? Yeah. Uh, I think there are various issues with why you might be waking up. But uh, the first thing for a lot of people is sleep hygiene. People need to get into better habits before they go to sleep. A lot of people uh, look at screens before they go try to go to sleep, which is not a good thing, especially if the screen's got glare, okay. uh, white glare. That's not good because right. it sort of almost activates uh, brain cells that then help stop you getting to sleep. Um, I think that if you're trying to get to sleep at least one hour before you intend to sleep, no more uh, phones or iPads or anything like that. Maybe a little bit of telly, but not too much. Ideally, uh, either listen to music or reading a book. Some people don't realize how stimulated they are by caffeine. Uh, I myself didn't realize for many years that if I took caffeine after a certain time, even a cup of coffee, uh, say after 11 even, I would be awake a lot of that night. When I realized I stopped, actually I, in the end I stopped having coffee altogether uh, because I couldn't predict how much it would affect my sleep pattern. So those are some of the basic rules of sleep hygiene. Check your caffeine content, reduce it, and also, um, don't take a screen to bed with you and try the hour before you're trying to sleep to just have a quiet period where you're either reading a book or listening to music. Okay, so I go to bed at nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. I've got a little bit of TV on. Yep. I haven't drunk coffee for 20 years. Yep. I'll try and watch a James Bond movie. Good, I'm asleep, good man. I'm, I'm asleep within minutes, okay? Yeah. But I invariably wake up middle of the night for a pee. Yes. Okay, and or I'm thinking about work issues. Yeah. Okay, the, the, is that just normal nature? Yeah, the, the pee bit is normal as we get older. So um, the prostate gland enlarges. So a lot of men over a certain age would wake up at night requiring a, a pee. Uh, so that's fine. But a lot of men also could get back to sleep. Now, the waking up with recurrent thoughts, that maybe is something where you need some form of stress relief or something because what you're worrying about is something that's happened during the day, during the week, yeah. it's still going through your mind. So I think with that, I do suggest people try things like yoga, meditation, and there's a really good app called Headspace, which... Uh, Headspace. Yeah, you can get a 10-minute free trial right. of it. Well, I've got to say on a personal level, it's extraordinary how much better I sleep if I do a long run. For example, exactly. Sunday morning, yeah. Sunday night, I sleep like a baby, <laughs> as they say. All right? Is that just because yeah. I'm absolutely whacked? Yeah, that's a good benefit of exercise. It's like when you've got little children and you uh, tire them out. It's the same principle. You know, you get them running up and down and all that. And by the end of the day, they're just like that. So, yeah, it's a good thing. So doing the regular exercise. Understood. Okay, well that wraps up the current thoughts. Let's take a quick break, then we'll be straight back. Thank you.